Welcome back to another mini Isla Sorna episode, guys. We are in, well, mini Isla Sorna, and today we are on episode 3, where we are going to be building a exhibit for the Carnotauruses that will be inspired by their scene in the novel, and also connected to a little harbor section. And with that little intro out of the way, let's get into it. Alright, guys, here we are back in... Mini Sorna, and before we go into um, the park and stuff and say what we're doing, I'm gonna just um, talk about this little section because I think I did an aerial view. I can't remember. It's been a. Oh my god. Like, this is the first video I'm recording for 2024. So, a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Esme. I've got a little puppy angel here. And um, so, I recorded the last video, like, before Christmas. However, a lot of things and disasters have happened here at my abode in the last, well, few weeks. I don't want to go over all of them, but simply put, disaster struck right after Christmas. Like, we literally had Christmas Day, Boxing Day was a little bit quiet, and then after that, boom, disaster struck. And I was basically like, oh, great, I'm going to be delayed for a little bit because, well, a lot of... The disaster that happened took a lot of time to deal with, unfortunately. Don't worry, nobody died, nobody was hurt or something. It was just something with my house that, like, had to be dealt with. Nothing too critical, just really frustrating. So episode 2 should have been out before Christmas time, but, I mean, or after, but before the year ended. But... Well, it, it didn't exactly. Oh, hello, Mesmo. We got a special guest as well. We've got Esme here, a little angel who's just here to snuggle and vibe with us. But we finished this up. I know in the video that I said that like, I was going to finish these parts, but as you can see, I did. And I also got a little bit ahead on the hotel zone because, well, as you can see, um, the hotels are built. I'm thinking what we could do is, like, after we build, like, all the enclosures, except maybe the last one, we do a live stream that, like, will basically be, like, doing the finishing touches or something. I'm thinking something, like, on that line. I don't know. I might change my mind. But, as you can see here, we have, um, two lovely, lovely T-Rexes here. A Sleeping Doe Rex and a Observant Buck Rex, which I, I got a... I got an amazing screenshot the other day, guys, where, like, literally it showcased the, um, Buck Rex was basically looking over here. Like, there was two, like, one where it was like this, and he was, like, looking in. One, like, where he's looking straight down the main street, and, like, he gave an expression that was basically like, uh, you guys know I could step over this if this weren't a game, right? <laughs> like, it's like he broke the fourth wall and was like, dudes... This is not a secure way to enclose us. We, I know that this has a nest, like as we did in the last video. Here's the little nest here. But I never um, added any baby dinos. I was thinking we could add some Morris and Trepidus as baby Rexes, but I want to leave it up to you. Leave in the comments what we should do. Should we add some baby Morris and Trepidus slash baby T-Rex into this enclosure? Or is it fine as it is? Maybe save morals for something else. But with all of that exposition out of the way, and me out of breath and needing a drink of my nice smoothie, because it's hot as hell, even though, weirdly enough, it is snowing outside. It's still hot. Oh, I should... Mm -mm. There we go. Now that I'm refreshed, we're gonna go to the restricted zone. Now, in the last video, I know I had this built beforehand. You guys may have so seen this. I didn't explain it at all. Like, not even a sliver. I think I was like, well, nobody's gonna care, but for anyone who's like, uh, what is that? That wasn't there before. Well, this whole section, if you remember the first episode, was going to be the um, restricted zone fully secure, but I was like, eh, it's a little bit too big. So, I decided to make this. This basically separates it, and because of this little glitch here, the classic gate, if I open it up, well, we actually can get into there and basically say, bugger off, guess you're not allowed in there. But, holy heck, that T-Rex is loud. 
Well, anyway, we're going to be building the Carnotaurus exhibit here, which this one's going to be a little bit of both. I'm going to do a harbor section slash engine village before it goes into, like, its own, like, little enclosure or something. I, I, I feel like that makes the best sense, because I want to have, like, a harbor, and I felt like this was the proper spot. So, it's a bit of both, okay? Now that that's all out of the way, I think we can actually begin, which, first off, we're gonna... I'm gonna have it elevated. Do I want it elevated, actually? Yeah, we'll actually have it elevated. Why are those Rexes so loud? No, I'm thinking what I'll do, actually, is we'll lower this section. So we'll go down, and then we'll keep that in line, I'm thinking, because we can have one that's, like, more to level with it. I feel like that makes more sense. So we'll get rid of these curves. And what we'll do is go up to here, about this point, there you go. Go up to there, that's marked. And then, and then this can count as like, you know, the section that's like properly like, well, no, we can actually have it straight. Let's have it just straight, it's fine straight. We don't need it curved. Let's just mark it for the moment and say here, cause we're gonna have them, well actually, no, what we'll do is a little bit less so there about there and then we'll go about there let's get the invisible fences lined up so we don't forget that they exist because we're gonna give the illusion guys I know I'm saying that a lot the illusion of it being one big, um, harbor, but one section is gonna be, you know, the Carnotaurs can wander in and such, much like they did in the novel for the Worker Village, and then the other will be, you know, they can't, and that's, like, proper harbor and such. Now then, let's first work on... Let's work on... Well, hold on, let's get the right building. I'm thinking for the engine village, we'll have two buildings. Maybe this science center, and then definitely the um, control center. That'll be, like, the front one, because it, it makes sense. Like, I know it's not exactly right, but it's the most, like, Lost World feeling building that we have. Which is still a shame we don't have any, actually, now that I think about it. Like, why don't we even? I don't know. Like, it's, it's one of those things... Ah, uh, great. How much... well, hold on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is while we're working here... That's why I kept it marked. And this is a tip for anyone who's building on an island like this. If you're going by Isla Sorna, Isla Nublar, Manticore, the Novel Islands, or any island like that, always do it so that way... always leave, like, the path marks. If you're doing, like, a random island then you're, like, fine with, like, breaking the borders, that's fine. But for this, make sure you keep that so that way you, when you're doing this, you can make sure you don't have to worry about sketching it back out. Which, so let's go. We'll give this guy, well actually, let's just go straight on. All right. Alright, there we go, a little bit. Not too thick, but not too thin. Now let's go into here and... God, I didn't... I didn't realize these buildings were that big, but... 
Well, no, let's get... Maybe a smaller one will work. Yeah, that one will work. That's much better, actually. We can fit two of them, even. Okay, let's just see if we take away the water around there, how... Okay, that will work. Yeah, that works. So we'll keep that. So let's just add that water back for a second. And then here we'll... We'll go for that path again. There you go. And then... Let's get some of those pow... Let's get some of those substations in, because they, like, look really good for this. Okay, now, let's make sure again, water, does it go up to there? It does, so, put it back for a moment. And, I know that I'm, uh, I know that I'm gonna have to, uh, well, no, I don't need to connect to anything. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... Now, let's get into the pathway here, which I'm thinking we can maybe get a shelter. I'm thinking let's put in a shelter or something, you know, something security-esque. Probably, yeah, prob definitely this one. This one will fit. And, like, you know, it kind of looks like a warehouse in a way. Less than a security bunker. Like, this could be, like, where they put drums and such. So... There you go. No, not environment. We need guest. And good thing this guy clips. Otherwise, I'd be very frustrated with it right now. Okay, there you go. And now's where we get into the path work. And then, let's try that again. Replace. Boom, there you go. That actually worked nicely. Wait, what? What was that? Replace brush? Huh. When was this added? I'd never seen this. Well, okay, we have a update on, like, the demolish tool. Okay. I mean, the replacement tool, sorry. Words failed. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, try that. Let's first go onto the straight. No. And then. There you go. And what I'm. Th well, let's actually. Let's fix that notch, because that notch is just. Ooh. There you go. And what I'm thinking is we'll put in a few, like, cages as if, like, it's, you know. We'll put in, like, one monitoring cage, which we'll put in... Something a little bit more secure, like that. Yeah, definitely that one. There. That'll work. That'll work. There you go. Nothing too crazy about that. Well, hold on. Can we actually... Where's the gate? There it is. Okay, it's probably gonna be a little... What do you mean it's obstructed? Okay, let's try this. There you go. It's not gonna be entirely straight, which is gonna bug me, but it'll do. Nope, that's not it. That's it. There we go. So yeah, it's not entirely straight, but there we go. Like, little nice paddock here, and then we'll add some decorations. Let's first f concrete this up. Okay, Jesus, what is up with those cranky Rexes? They're like storm blowing up a storm or something. What? They've got food. And I do have hunger turned on, I believe, so it's not like they're starving. Because if they were, then I'd probably have gotten a notification by now. And... 
Hold on, hold on. Can we fit maybe some... Hold on, let's see. Well, oh wait, no, we already have that in, so... Let's add... Hold on. I like doing this, so let's add... Or no, we can do it on this instead, so... There you go, nice little signal there. And then... I don't know why I, li I like doing this. It, it works for me, so... I'll have that as, like, little signal pylons. And... Ooh, actually, no, we probably could switch them out for the cameras and such. Or we... No, we can keep them, because I think the cameras are okay on, on the path, so let's just see. Facility, let's see, uh, cameras, camera post, yeah, it's okay on the path, so we can do that. Floodlights, we'll definitely have those, actually. Let's actually, now we'll switch those ones, and instead, we'll actually have floodlights right on the edge, there, and there, and that'll look nice at night. Maybe we can put some more, but we'll put some more, like, in the area. And now, let's fill that back up with more path. We'll keep it unclosed, but for now, we'll work on the decorations later. Let's work on the next section, which this section, actually, what I'm going to do is something easier for building purposes. We'll cut this in half. And we'll move that, and then, nope, it's not in guest, it's in operations. It's, sh oh, you son of a, okay, a little bit more, and then it'll be okay. So if we go, okay, the only reason I don't want to do it, th uh, can we get, okay, hold on. I, I can fix that. It's just, it's when it gets to, like, when it gets to this river, the reason I'm not building anything in here is because other than fences, nothing's going in that water because I will literally die if I have to fix that again because it took me, like, 30 minutes just to deal with that river alone when I did the island portion of this whole thing. All right, what was I building? It was the facility, right? Yeah, control center... Okay, let's see if it gets right up to there. We'll move it up. And we'll have like a little bit of a court actually. So like, we'll have like a little circular path, which is basically going to be like, you know, it's here, boom, which might help if I get it straight on, actually. Tap there. And we'll use a medium as long as it works. Yay, it's not as cranky as every other building in existence. Let's make it a little bit bigger, actually. There you go. Because I want to have it overgrown looking. Because, like, remember, this is going to be... Ugh. Mother... Okay, hold on. We gotta fix it. Boom. Should have seen that coming, because there's a big bulge there. I mean, I could have used that as, like, it's a crack in the... Like, it once was thicker path. Nah, never mind. It doesn't work. And... What we'll do is we'll actually have a road... Going off... We'll use this as, like, a road for now. So, like, it goes off. And then, what I'm thinking... Ooh, it'd be nice if we had tour vehicles, actually, because, like, it could go around. But that's that's going to be a lot of work, and it's not... And they're constantly going to be just getting hit by the contours, so no. 
But it, it would be a nice idea, but no. And we need something, a building that looks like it's a garage at the front. Something that can fit that description would be very, very nice. I mean, that... Uh, I need something that works. Like, if this were the original Jurassic Park one, where it literally had, like, a garage section, like, other than that, it would be fine. But this is way too big. Like... Like, I could switch around there, but then it doesn't really fit. Ah, it doesn't fit. What about... No, that doesn't fit with a harbor. God, none of these buildings are fitting the way I would have expected. Oh, well, maybe this one, actually. This one's okay. Yeah, like, that one will work, because it, it's just the right size I can squeeze a path in. And then... Yeah, it, 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 I think it works. It works for me. Or actually... We'll take that path out. That's fine, actually. Okay, so... We've got to go that way, and then that way. There you go. And then behind here, we'll have... Probably an observatory building. Well, the viewing... Yeah, viewing platform actually works perfectly. We can put it any way we want, actually. Like, no guests are going to be here, so, like... This is going to be... Con your pants are, We're going to constantly have that notification now. But, we put this guy here. And then... Uh, there we go. How long have we been at it? Okay, just under a half an hour. So probably we won't do any of the guest stuff here, which I'm not even sure what I want to do here. But we'll get the enclosure done, that's for sure. What we'll do is we are going to fence off this section with classic Jurassic fencing. Come here, Ms. Come on in, Snuggle. And also, I should have a drink. Was that a big yawn? Oh, yes, it was. Come here. Come here and Snuggle. Or lie down there. That works, too. Oh, wait. Oh, geez, it's her time. Sorry, guys, I will be back in just a moment because um, it's time to feed my dog. Yeah, even the Rexes. Maybe that's why they were like, it's like, get ready, it's time. All right, so I'll be back after I feed my puppy. Bye. <laughs> and hello, everybody. As you just saw for that comment, yes, we are doing the rest of the build as a speed build, which... Uh, well, first of all, as you can see, we're working on our enclosure section, which I don't technically finish all of it in the build because, um, little story, uh, that happened is, remember at the beginning of the video where I said that the reason that this video was delayed along with the last video being delayed was due to a series of unfortunate events going on in my personal life? Well, guess what? They struck back and, well... As of doing this voiceover thing, I'm currently dealing with another thing. Which is just fantastic when you're trying to get your channel back up to where it once was. But, anywho, I, we're voice recording and, oh my god, I am so tired today. It's the end of the day when I'm doing this, but I, I know I need to get it done and such, because tomorrow... I got a lot of work to deal with, but as you just saw um, beforehand, what I was doing was I was actually making a little tennis court sort of style thing. I did it as best as I could because, as you know, since I am doing this 
with the inspiration being of the Lost World I'm seeing with the Carnotaurus, which I'm surprised we never even got that. Like, I remember um, how there was rumors about Allosaurus originally going to be in the Lost World, and they were going to camouflage, which kind of weird that they changed it from that, but... I don't know. It's kind of interesting learning about some of those little lore details that not everyone talks about. But anywho, getting off track, I know. What I just did there was the tennis court, and what I'm doing here, and what I'm going to um, wreck and rebuild multiple times, actually, is I'm making this as sort of a warehouse shed, I guess. I it's, it's hard to explain, because I... I kept on changing what it was, but in conclusion, it ended up being like a warehouse little garage and such. Sort of similar to, I think it's also from the novel, um, when J I think it's Jack Thorne who goes out in the Lost World scene and encounters the Carnotaurus. When he does, he goes into a little shed or something that's full of oil drums and such, but unfortunately, since there ain't much to use for here, what I decide to do is use a concrete fence to sort of make the border lines and such and then I used for a roofing I used um, the storage shack which realistically I could have actually just like done what I'm doing here but I think the only reason I didn't do it like what I'm thinking of is because I didn't want it having two ways to get in, so I guess that's why I put the fence. I don't know, guys. Leave in the comments, do you think this looks alright, or should I do it without the um, fencing? I don't know. I'm in the middle for that. Now I'm just, like, starting to add loads of decorations and such, which... Also, there's a few things I need to mention here for later on in the speed build, because there were some things that I accidentally forgot to record, including... Um, uh, what was it? I forgot to record um, making a little parking zone in the um, area for the harbor. I actually made that, which... No, I actually think I do show a little bit of that in the speed build, or... I, I could be wrong, but it it's been a while since I recorded this guy, so... I'm a little um, fuzzy on this. Like, I edited this, and then that guy stops, so... I mean, I edited this today when I'm recording... D doing this voiceover, oh my god. You can tell I'm really exhausted, guys, because, like, I just spent hours cleaning up a basement and such, so I'm like, uh, I'm grubby, I'm slimy, but I'm like, I need to get this done because I'm already behind on this one. Gotta get it out, because, like, I, I need to get more content for you guys. You guys definitely deserve it, but I'm trying to make it um, fill with foliage, and now here's where I get into a little bit of an interesting part. So, I'm actually making two fence sets. This one is going to be basically for... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, that's the fence that, um, in the novel, the Carnotaurus brush up against and stuff, and where Jack Thorne starts to notice them. I'm having that there, and... I don't show it, unfortunately, in this video because I forgot to record it, but I had my Carnotaurus, which I think I have five of them for this paddock. Um, I ha yeah, it's five. I had them, like, beating the heck out of the fences, though, unfortunately, I forgot to use an invisible fence around it, so they ended up breaking out, and then, thankfully, there was no guests around because I don't actually end up finishing the guest section in this video. We will be doing that. Probably in the next video, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet because I stuck on two ideas that I want to do. But anywho, that's what happened. So that fence there, not the one that's wrapped around the path, but the one that's connected to that little wrap around. That one is basically just for like the exhibit. It'll have a bunch of holes when you get to the end of this video. Because once we get there, I'll be doing some B-roll and such. You'll be able to see the Carnotaurus walking through in their nice enclosure. Now I'm starting to try and figure out what do I want to do for some of this guest section. And I decided to go with towers because I realized, like, there wasn't, like, a reason for them to go down other than the hotel. So I figured let's have some viewing areas and such. And, uh, yep. Okay, so thankfully I did record a bit of the garage section or the parking space. I don't really think you can call it garage, but this is where 
Oh my god, I remember I can remember building this now. Oh my god, it was so frustrating because I remember watching um I think it was Evolution Square's video on it where she had like a parking zone area and she got them to stay and I knew how to do the trick and stuff, but unfortunately when the space is too is quote unquote too small, it gets the cars just suddenly, even though they have nowhere to go, they just decide, I want to move forward, and then, oh my god, like here, as you can see, I'm like putting like the little concrete dividers, that's basically the parking spots, but because it's too, quote unquote, too tight for the cars, they start to move, and well, so this is the one that I end up going with originally, I think it, it was in my second um, go through of this that I actually changed it all. Unfortunately, along with the Carnotaurus breaking the fences, I didn't press record on that, which just, I was like, oh my god, that was so frustrating. But luckily, I was able to go through it and fix it all up. But Originally, for like this version, the cars just kept on moving out, and if I put a second car in, in front of one of the others, they just teleported back, and I was like, why is it doing that? And then I remembered, I remembered um, a short that I had watched where it was about the tip. I don't think it was Evolution Squares, but I'll probably do a little short video on that just to make sure, because I've seen people ask me about it before, but... What you basically have to do is you have to leave a certain amount of space between the car and, like, the dividers. I think it's, like, about half the car's thickness in total. Otherwise, it'll try and move forward to basically be like, okay, I'm not actually stuck or something. You know when you, like, get it stuck in rocks and such, even if it's got nowhere to go, it'll just teleport? It's basically that code saying, I'm stuck, I've got to move even if it's got nowhere to go. Now, as you can see here, I'm putting some floodlights all over, and <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys will hear this, but when, I'm, when I was editing this, actually, earlier today, I was hearing this buzzing noise and also this squeaking noise, and I couldn't tell for the life of me what it was, but when I figured it out, I, I just, like, couldn't stop laughing because I thought, like, my brain was like, Austin, did you think, was there a bird in the room or a lawnmower and you just didn't know it when you were recording? But then I slowed down the footage. Well, no, I didn't slow down on the footage. I went into my original recording file and it turns out it was the helicopter making the lawnmower noise because it was sped up so fast that it sounded like a lawnmower <laughs> and the squeaking bird was the t-rexes and i and i remember because like in my edit i make a joke about it like how they're so freaking loud and i think i even mention it in the video like in the first quarter even and i'm like oh my god i'm like I was like, for the life of me, what is making that noise? There's no way it's an actual bird. And I was like, well, it kind of is, because T-Rexes are, well, I think T-Rex is not counted as part of the avian dinosaurs, like raptors and such. So technically, no, it's not a bird, but technically it is at the same time, you know what I mean. But now, as you can see, we're finally fencing it in. I've decorated most of the harbor and such. I put some dividers and such at the um, little dock zone, which I'm thinking I might switch those into some lights, actually, because I think those would be better. I could be wrong. But now I'm like, okay, I gotta fence it all up and such, gotta make it enclosed. But I also, I think I forgot to do this, but I forgot to, I might have forgotten to leave an opening for the Carnotaurus to get in the front half. I'll have to double check when I, because I haven't done my B-roll footage for the last portion of this yet, so I I think I got it, but I'm not sure. Because you can't get, they can't get out that way. I think I left one on the other side. Well, there's one by the tennis court. No, I, nope, I do leave an opening. Okay, thank God. 
I was doing it right. I think I went by and started using invisible fence here of my brain. Yes, I did. Ha <laughs> ha. My past self was not failing this at that moment. So now we're getting into the last portion, which is just invisible fencing. And I forget to, I don't think I actually show me foresting up. I think, yeah, because I did that after the Carnotaurus broke the fences, right? Oh my god, I am, god, this video was like, it was one that I was so hyped for, but turned out into quite the mess. But you know what? Sometimes beauty and art comes with a big mess at the end. But alas, we make the island, and finally, guys, we are at the end of the video. Oh my god, this, this episode was like, true insanity. It started out as simply just like T-Rexes being like supremely loud and such while I was building to having to stop for like a week, like literally a week. The first half of this video, the voiceover section, I recorded that like a week later and then like it was a few days later after that that I'm doing the editing and the voiceover and oh my god it it, it, it was fun, but it was, oh my god, it, I, I've never felt so frustrated, but so happy with a video at the same time in so long. But you know what? It, sometimes it's worth it. Hopefully this video does well, because otherwise I'll just be like, oh no, my mental state will just die again. But guys, there it is. There is the Carnotaurus. I guess you could count it as part one well technically it's just a full part because for the rest of that section guest section i'm not sure what i'll do i actually might leave it for another video maybe not the next one because i'm not sure what i want to do there actually so we'll figure that out but i hope you guys do enjoy this content that i'm giving you i hope you guys have been enjoying the series i haven't checked um how the other two are doing they've been doing all right considering like where my channel's at right now but hopefully with the massive amount of content that i'm working on as soon as st things stop falling apart in my house i'll hopefully be good but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video oh my god finally if if you guys enjoyed this video you guys are amazing absolute legends and if you want to be even more amazing for me i would appreciate the like and if you want to join the hunt do hit the subscribe button because we're we're about 500 away from 4,000, i think which is insane guys like i know we haven't done much in the last year or two but hopefully now that i'm free i can get more content for you guys but in order to do that i need your support so go on and do those if you feel like it and until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Whew, now I can have a shower. Bye-bye.